Hi, it's Liam Jeffrey. We're down at the Street of Dreams today. I just finished off a client meeting, so I thought I'd show you around this amazing seven bedroom, contemporary arabesque show mansion. It's on the market for 110 million dirhams, and I think you're gonna be pretty impressed. Okay, so just before we get started, this villa is almost 27,000 square feet, and it's located on a plot of land which is just under 38,000 square feet. So, as you enter the property through these huge front doors, the first thing that you're going to notice is just the height of these ceilings. You can see that impressive chandelier. The property comes fully furnished and fitted out. And I'm going to take you through the first floor. So this is the main lounge area. We're on the ground floor. I'm going to be running through this house. There's just too much to show, but bear with me. As you can see outside through the glass, you've got the pool and the golf course is just beyond that. So as we leave the lounge area to the left hand side, we've got this classic formal dining room, all nicely laid out. You can see the patio as well and the pool beyond. We've got a small pantry. And now we're into the show kitchen. So we've got fully fitted branded Miele appliances, loads of space, breakfast bar. Just beyond that, there's like another small lounge area where you can enjoy and relax in the mornings. So we've got the show kitchen here. Behind the show kitchen, we've got the dirty kitchen. So this is where most of the cooking will be done. And once again, as you can see, it's fully kitted out with all the best appliances, everything you need, massive fridge, fridge freezer for storage. You're gonna need a lot of food if you're living in this house. So just as we're walking across to the other side of this ground floor in this seven bedroom mega mansion, just wanted to let you know a little bit about the Street of Dreams. So we're right in between the new Emirates Hills golf course and there are 26 villas on this street. These villas are basically going to be the new Emirates Hills or part of the new Emirates Hills, really exclusive and private. And most of them come as shell and core but this one has been finished by Imar just to give people an idea of what they can do so we're now in the downstairs guest suite you could probably call it ensuite bathroom dressing room really nice wooden floor finishing in this room a little patio as well and it's a nice now this home comes with a really impressive basement with an amazing bar area perfect for chilling out and relaxing with your friends after a tough week you got your own pool table, and loads of space down here. So from this basement, you can also easily access the huge double garages. There's probably space there to fit about six cars in the covered parking. And the best part about this basement is in this room. This is your own personal private theater. You've got soundproofed walls, carpet, the, the sound system in here is unbelievable. Loads of space for guests. You've also got a popcorn machine, obviously. Definitely one of the nicest basements I've seen in Dubai. I'll just show you the bar area again. You've also got an outside patio. Now, of course, living in a mansion this big, you can't be walking up and down the stairs all day long. So you have your own private lift. And we have four floors to go to. So we've covered the ground floor and the basement now we're on the first floor. This is where the bedrooms are located. You've also got this lounge space, which is, has an amazing view onto the golf course, but we'll show you that in more detail later. In total on this floor, we've got six ensuite bedrooms and a nanny's room as well. Plus this little pantry area. The bedrooms have been really well designed. This is perfect for probably a teenage boy. All ensuite. I can't show you every room in too much detail because I'll be here all day. You can see the view and the Burj Khalifa in the distance. Another kids room next door, that's ensuite as well. We walk through the corridor, past the pantry, guest toilet. Little room for the baby. Really nice fitted bathroom in this. Okay, and then we we'll go through into the other bedrooms. This is just another bedroom, you see really nice wooden flooring. And then we've got like a creche area with a balcony. And the nanny's also got her own space up here on the first floor. Now let's go and see the master suite. 
So the master suite starts from here and this room is probably about the same size as most three bedroom apartments, large three bedroom apartments in Dubai. It also has a private balcony. So the bedroom leads directly onto this balcony and then you come through this corridor and you've got his and hers own dressing rooms and ensuite bathrooms, automatic lights. So this is the hers ensuite bathroom. You can see fully fitted with marble. And then you've got his private dressing room, dark wood oak finishing and ensuite bathroom. Really like the gray marble finishing in this bathroom. So you've got bathtub, toilet and shower. And then further down the corridor, I guess this is like another dressing area. Um, maybe a makeup room, I don't know. It's also got a balcony. Yeah. So that's the master suite, pretty impressive. So there's some filming going on here at the minute, which is quite cool. And this is the top floor private gym. And you can see that view is unbelievable. We'll go outside and I'll show you the view now. So as you come from the gym, you've got this outdoor spa, complete with massage tables, his and hers massage tables, and showers. Overlooking the golf course, an amazing skyline. And as well as all that, on this top floor, you've got a private jacuzzi. Looks quite tempting today to get in there actually. And I'm really happy that I've managed to come on a clear day. You can see the full downtown skyline across from the golf course. So I'm not going to go down and show you around the whole garden area and pool area. It's just too hot. We've got the perfect vantage point here. You can see all the garden, the pool. There's a fireplace in the corner. Perfect for barbecues. Back on the ground floor and there's actually a room that I forgot to show you before. And it's this really classic office. Complete with its own bookshelf. So that's it from this show mansion. Like I said, it's on the market for 110 million dirhams, but there's 26 other villas on this street. If you're perhaps looking for something of this size and magnitude, then I'll be happy to show you around some options. Mm -hmm.